Hi everyone, it's Chandra Pasma, your Ontario NDP candidate for Ottawa West Nepean. I know the past few years have been really difficult for everyone. Our health care system and our seniors care system are really broken. But I'm excited to have this opportunity to share with you the Ontario NDP's plan to work to fix these things and make a province we can all live in. Almost every day I hear a story from someone who is experiencing an incredibly long wait time at the Queensway Carleton Hospital or who has waited for 12 to 18 months for an important medical procedure. We really need to invest in our hospitals and the Ontario NDP has a plan to do that, to return the health care workers and nurses that we desperately need to eliminate the backlog and make sure that everyone receives timely and quick medical care. We also need to speed up the recognition of the credentials of the 15,000 health care workers who are in our province but receive their training elsewhere and make sure that they're able to provide care alongside our doctors and nurses. We need to address the working conditions of our workers, repeal Bill 124 and make sure that they earn decent wages, fair benefits and pension in return for their work. But we also want to expand public health care in Ottawa West Nepean. We know that it's really hard for people to afford all their medications and to take them as their doctor prescribed, so we want to make sure that everybody has access to medications with their health card, not their credit card. We're also going to bring dental care and mental health care into our public health care system. Our seniors care system is incredibly broken. We had a real tragedy over the past four years. Many families now have a gaping hole left by the profound loss caused by the pandemic. And sadly, our government did nothing to protect the residents. It's time for us to change how we approach seniors care and provide much better care. That starts with an investment in home care that will keep seniors in their own home as long as possible. We know that's where you want to be and that's what's most effective from a community perspective as well. That means taking the profit out of home care so that the funds that Ontario spends only go to providing you with the best care. We're going to invest in community-based, not-for-profit care with regulated provincial standards so everyone receives the highest quality care. That also means investing in the workers who provide the care, so we're going to provide a raise, decent working conditions, benefits and pensions so that people can actually see this as a career that they spend time in and end the revolving door of healthcare workers. When people do need a higher level of care, we need to significantly change how we approach long-term care. Once again, that starts with taking the profit out of care. We know that the for-profit care homes had some of the worst outcomes during the pandemic. We want to make sure that all the funds are going to, the pro to provide the highest level of care for seniors. And when we build new homes, we want to move to a more family-oriented, smaller model instead of warehousing people in large impersonal institutions. That means six to eight seniors living with their caregivers, a much higher ratio of workers to residents, and a minimum of four hours of hands-on care for every resident. We also need to ensure that people receive culturally appropriate services in their own language. That means expanding francophone services for French language citizens as well. We know that even with all these changes, there will still be some concerns, and seniors need to have someone they can take those concerns to. So we're going to create an independent officer of the legislature called the Seniors Advocate. The Seniors Advocate will work with seniors, their families and caregivers to analyze systemic problems and make recommendations to the government to ensure that the best interests of seniors are always being represented in our policy. Finally, I know that the cost of living has become really unaffordable over the past few years and incomes haven't been keeping up. We need a government that's prepared to take the measures necessary to address cost of living, starting with housing. I've spoken to many seniors who are concerned about the way their rent is increasing or they own their own home, but their children and grandchildren have had to move so far away in order to find housing that they could afford. It's time that we address this affordability crisis and make sure that everyone can find a place to call home, whether they rent or own. We also need to address the high cost of hydro and end gouging at the gas pumps and make sure that people are getting the medication, the dental care, and the mental health care that they need with their health card, not their credit card. So see, these are some of the policies that the Ontario NDP is putting forward to make a better, healthier life for seniors in Ontario. The last election was super close. I came second by 175 votes. And this time, we have a chance to create real change in Ottawa West Nepean. So on June 2nd, I'm asking for your support to build a province where we can all live our best lives.